What's up, my fam, and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. Oops. <laughs> hey! <laughs> um, my name is Kyron Fire, and today uh, I'm just going to be playing around. I actually found a really cool cave with some rubies in it. And apparently, I live in a quite awesome area. That's my house over there. And there is tons of nodes of stuff around here. Just absolutely, see, you see, so many. Ah. Uh, so I had to leave home for a while because our little reaper, or I don't know what he is, just leviathan. I don't know what type of leviathan he is. I know there's such thing as ghost and reaper, but I don't know what he is specifically as a monster. But the sound you can hear in the background is him. There he is. You see him? He's come back. I think the only way I can get rid of him is letting him eat me again and he seems to disappear. But apart from that, I'm just gonna go away for a little while because he's near the base and he might destroy it. <laughs> and I don't want that to happen. I'm gonna go to this ruby cave in my little sea moth. I can't go down that far, but there's the hole. So if I can stop about here, get out, that should be perfect. Whoa, okay. That little bugger again. Come here, you. These are horrible. Die. Another one! <laughs> Get out of here! You little shit. Oh, you are. Oh, dearie me. You only wanted some ore in your freaking hip. Toys me! That's the only unfortunate thing about this area, those things. But they're not really a worry at all. The nice thing is, there's fresh ore around here. There's a lot of it. There's plenty of these rocks. There's absolutely tons. I haven't met anything dangerous down here yet, and I probably just doomed myself. There we go, there's some there's some of uh, rubies. Uranium! Oh, I didn't see that. This is pretty awesome. You do have to keep an eye on your oxygen tank, though. It gets pretty rough. And these sharky dudes. They haven't... I've been fortunate enough not to piss one off too much yet, but at the moment, yeah, I don't really want to test that. Right, I filled myself up a lot, now we're going to go back. Don't really like this area though I picked, it seems really useful to me. Lots of useful stuff. I'm in between like several different biomes. The only worry is that dude, but whatever. <laughs> Ever so often I hear this dolphin noise, I haven't quite worked out what that noise is yet. Bit weird. <laughs> I am quite tempted to go up by the ship, but I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, I'm not quite sure where the dolphin noise is. Oh, look, our plants are growing. Can I do anything with this? Oh, it's pretty. Maybe it's just prettiness. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to find out a use for that. Maybe I need some sort of garden hay. Oh, is our house out of power? Wind and power? Oh, we are unpowered. Oh my god. I'm going to go out farming again. I'm actually going to bring the car with us because we have enough power for that. We should be good. Not all systems. Oh, I'm going to. Hang on. <laughs> he needs to repair it a little bit more. Oh yeah, I think there was a door I could laser over here. Hang on. I think I might need my radiation suit, but... Hang on, I just need some quartz. Gimme gimme. This is a nice little area of quartz I found, so I quite like it. There, I see it, I see it. I need that. There we go. I can try this. Yeah, I'm going to need my suit. Can I cut this door open? Oh, I can! This is one I can cut. I don't like how it's making scary noises at me. Here we go. We're almost there. Oh, yeah. Swiggity, swaggity, swiggity. Open the booty. Oh, that's too hot to go through. Oh. Oh, what? Oh, there's what I needed. Why is it making 
spooky noises at me. Oh, look at the titanium! Lightweight, high capacity tank. <gasps> Ew! Oh, cool! I like this. Hang on. I need oxygen. <laughs> 30 seconds. Oh my god. Welcome aboard, Captain. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there was a bit of a something else there. That should charge up nicely. I think it said I had space now. Yeah, I do. So, what did I learn? A different tank. Did I got a lightweight one? Oh, our radio's going again. Let's check it out. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Oh, they are coming for us then. Awesome. I thought they were giving up on us, to be honest. <laughs> they sort of, they seemed more concerned about their sandwiches. But yeah, I'm still really underpowered. There, how would I power this better? I'm guessing I'm definitely going to need this bioreactor kit. I'm gonna need a place for it as well. It probably requires a whole one of these to itself. I'm wondering if it's my moth that's taking all the power up. <laughs> are you are you sucking all my power? You shit. <laughs> No, it's fully powered. All systems so. online. Yeah, that's not it. Warning. Yeah, we're on emergency power. Only. It's not good. <laughs> Quartz, titanium, and copper. What am I missing? Quartz. God damn it! I need quartz. Gimme, gimme. Try again. Oh, I wonder if there's this little spotlight. I don't know how to turn it off though. Do I even get an option? Are you taking all my power? Honestly, I prefer not to have you. There you go. I have four solar powers. Please tell me this is enough. I'd be absolutely insane otherwise. Whoop. Yeah, 21 power. Here we go. Taking up now. That might have done the trick. Right. Oh, come on, Gabe. <laughs> Why do you want copper for everything? Oh my god. So I picked up this thing called a steel suit. I'm not... <laughs> it's weird. Still suit equipped and capturing body moisture to chemically neutralize residual odors in bodily fluids before the ingestion. So here we go. I finally got it to work. <laughs> it's really disgusting, but <laughs> whatever. It it does good hydration, and I might as well wear it if I haven't got anything else to wear. I had a radio message about 40 minutes ago saying the sun beaving would come and save my ass. But I don't think that will be the thing. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. But we're going to see in about 1 minutes 22 if they're going to land on the island or not. And if I'm going to be in the way or not. I'm about 60 metres away so I think I should be fine. Do something. They're coming! <gasps> uh. Uh. 
So no. we see you. Man, I don't know how no. you got out there. Don't do it! We broke an atmosphere and we're descending towards the land. No, 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 no. Oh my god, okay. Is that a building down this is there? bad. What do you mean you can't identify it? No, 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 no. Hold on. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. That's such a bad Nine. idea. No, don't do it. Nine. Okay. It's coming from the building? <gasps> Change course. Set thrusters to full. Oh my. Okay then. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Uh, um. Uh. Well, there goes my uh, rescue. <laughs> Why did they get land on the other fucking island? Come on! Man, that is such a shame. Oh, it's. it's re right. <laughs> Wow, it's just a massive laser. Who would have known? Nah, I think we're... well... <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe what just happened, man. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that! I really wasn't! <laughs> I expected to turn into a fucking laser cannon, oh my god.